Dave Parody of FinancialViz.com and ThinkOutsideTheSlide.com. Recently, the Data Visualization Society published this article on how to show a non-zero baseline in a line graph. It also applies to a column graph. And I was inspired and intrigued by this better practice on the side here where it looks like the uh, axis has uh, literally been torn, like a piece of paper has been torn and you're seeing then just that portion of the graph. I thought this was a really uh, interesting idea and would really help when you have a non-zero baseline. The challenge is how do we implement, how do we create that torn paper look in Excel? So I'm going to go to Excel here and I set up a, a graph and we have our typical zero baseline for our columns. This is the typical graph that you get in Excel. It starts at zero and the uh, changes are slight in this data series and sometimes you have a data series that doesn't have a lot of changes but you want to emphasize those changes by uh, cutting off the axis at a certain spot so the changes look more dramatic visually but you don't want to mislead the reader or the viewer so that torn paper look was a good idea so here's what I figured out we can do within Excel we can create a graph that looks like this so we have a graph, the same graph, but now the axis starts at 375 and it looks like the paper has been, the graph has been torn and we see those differences in the columns much bigger. How did I create this? So what I did is, is I added to my original data series, I added an XY data series. So I'm gonna use, uh, the type of graph is gonna use a scatter plot with straight lines. So what I've done is I've created the X series every 0 0.5. So in a column graph, the one position, X value of one, is in the middle of the first column, two is in the middle of the second column, and so on. So the 0.5s are the midway between the columns. So to get this jagged edge up and down, I simply had every 0 0.5, and then I would alternate values that gave me enough of the peaks and valleys that I wanted. So obviously, depending on your data set, you would set those to whatever made sense for your data set. So other changes that we need to make to the graph to make this work. So the first thing on the vertical, the measurement axis here, two things that I've changed. First of all, I've set the uh, horizontal axis crosses, and then I've set it instead of automatic at axis value, and I chose 375 because that made sense for the data that, that I was showing here. And then I set the minimum of the vertical axis to be the same 375 and I let Excel pick the maximum. So what this does is it cuts off the bars at 375 and shows only from 375 up and that gives us our essentially truncated Y axis. So that was the first thing that you needed to do. The second thing is this actual data series here, the XY data series. So a number of things that we need to do to make this work and the first is that this is a line graph. So when we take a look at the, the type of graph here, so if I look at the chart series, so I've got the regular column and then the torn Y is this one here, scatter with straight lines. Okay, so that's the type of graph that I'm using. And then in formatting it, when I look at the line formatting, it's a solid line. I set it to be white because that's the background color of the graph. So whatever the color graph, uh, the color background is for your graph, set it to that. Now the width, the width I've used here is 30 point. You're going to have to play with this a bit because it kind of depends on how big your graph is. So you want to make sure that the, it covers up all the way down to that bottom axis, the bottom of the axis, 375 in my case. The um, cap type is square, which is not the default, and the join type is miter, which is not the default. So those are two changes. Again, that's what makes the peaks and the valleys clean. If you leave it just as white, you won't actually see that there's sort of that torn uh, view. So what I needed to do is I also needed to add a shadow to the uh, line because otherwise you wouldn't sort of see the top edge of it. So what I did is I used uh, the preset for just the top shadow here, offset top outside, and that gives me that definition of the top edge of that jagged line. And so by using this XY uh, graph on my columns, 
I can create that sort of torn, torn piece of paper for the truncated or the uh, zoomed in y-axis. So this is what it looks like on a column, just to show you on a line, which was the original type of graph that the article used. So that's the zero baseline. And then the same sort of thing here, the torn baseline with the line graph. So if you want to implement that torn baseline type of look when you have a non-zero baseline graph, consider using this technique of using an X, Y, a scatter with lines and the formatting the way that uh, I've shown you to essentially add that torn paper look to the bottom of your graph.